and welcome to a Hero Arts video with Lucy Abrams. Today I'm going to show you some techniques for adding stitching to your cards um, by showing you how I added the stitching on these three cards. So first I'm going to show you how to add a simple stitched border to your cards. Um, I have here a craft panel st stamped with a friend definition stamp. I'm going to first line the needle up very carefully, uh, lifting the foot and placing it so that it's exactly an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the cardstock. Then I'm just going to stitch all the way down to the end. At the end, I tend to use the hand wheel um, to make sure that the needle ends up exactly where I want it. And then I lift the foot, spin it round, and then carry on stitching. This way it keeps it nice and even. So we'll carry on stitching down to the end. Again, lift the foot, use the hand wheel, spin it round, and carry on. This way, when you get to the end of the card, um, you only have one bit of um, cut-off stitching, and it keeps it really, really neat. So all the way around the card I can make sure that I'm exactly an, um, an eighth of an inch or so away from the end of the card. When I get to the edge I turn, use the hand wheel to turn um, the needle and get it uh, to get that final stitch through the first hole that I made. Um, so there's no overlapping of stitching and it creates a lovely neat finish to your card. <clears throat> then to get rid of those hanging threads I uh, flip the card over and just pull them through. Very simple, very easy and it means you, your um, final card is really really neat and nice straight edges. So second I thought I'd show you how I added the crazy stitching um, to the card I made that was inspired by one of Sally's beautiful cards from the catalogue. Um, so with this one you don't need to be um, half so careful just stick it in there and just go for it, just stitch. Um, you can turn the cardstock while you're stitching to create the wavy effects and the wavy patterns. Again, get to the edge, lift that foot and turn it and carry on stitching. This creates um, some lovely texture on your card. Um, I love the way Sally added this stitching to her card. Really inspired me. Lots of stitching. I'm just going to keep going. I did three or four layers um, of stitching on this one. Get to the end again. Um, cut the threads off and then again turn it over and pull those corner threads through so that they're invisible from the front. I tend to just use a little bit of um, sticky tape to um, secure the ends down and there you can see nice and neat finish. And finally I thought I'd show you how to add the kind of cross stitch pattern I did to the today's card that I've got on the blog. So I've switched my um, machine to a zigzag stitching, carefully going to line it up so that the, um, the line of the card is in the centre of the foot, and then I'm just going to do some zigzag stitching all the way to the end. When I get to the end, I'm going to cut it, out, cut it off, cut off the threads, and then I'm going to go again exactly the same but making sure that I start the zigzag um, stitch on the other side. Again I tend to use the hand wheel to make sure it's in the right place. Line it up. This is a, takes a little bit of practice but once you've got used to it it's really really easy. The only problem is if you go wrong on this it can be disastrous. <laughs> but, but if you do it slowly and carefully it tends to be um, no problem at all. And then when you cut the threads off you can see that it's a lovely nice um, cross stitch pattern. I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed today's video. Thank you very much for watching.